here we witness the exciting return of the piano excuse. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Oh, well, thanks, Yuri. She plays with me for us sometime. Ah, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. If that's so. In that case, I won't let you down, John. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So it didn't us anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. John, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. Me in the club? Yeah, definitely. I plan on it anyway. <laughs> yep, it's, I, mean, I, mean, I can have some friends with benefits time again. Yeah! Even in this alternate corrupted reality, I can still get my rocks off. Aw, oh, yeah! Can we start? Let's find a place to sit. Uh-uh. I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yeah, but... I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Is the one thing that can make my reading time here any better is a nice cup of tea, not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water picture from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water picture and also fetches an electric kettle. Yeah, yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna skip some. some. It's, it's okay, you stay here. It won't take long. Picture in hand. Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did you already leave you again? <laughs> yeah, they didn't give me an option. They, they, I didn't go with her like I did the, the last time. Did you leave you again? Well, it's not like that this time. He's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go out and look for her. Music's really getting a little bit corrupted as well. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. Ha! Ha! Ah, ah. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> Sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Each around the corner appear on an eerie. Yeah! She, she heard it. Her inhale is one of We're just waiting. Yeah, wait. Okay, time just went backwards. Oh, 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 they forgot to actually. Uh, they, they, they tried to. I do. I do erase all, erase all that, but she, but they failed. They failed to actually erase all of it. You fail. You, you fail. Whoever whoever was trying to trying to trying to break the script. You fail. Thanks. For, I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently, John. Do you like long tea? Uh, all right. It's coming. It's coming to 200 degrees. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less than I'm making tea for others. Show and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided to try expressing myself a little more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do, and it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Uh, I saw uh, I saw you cutting yourself, by the way. <laughs> Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, John. It's very endearing. So wait, that so that prediction that I, that I made like all before all the shit hit the fan about that one poem being about self harm. I guess that was correct. That's. Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I was watching Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. John, I heard another request. Do you mind if we sell the floor today? Alright, again. Alright, this again. Okay, because my. Ah! My. my your posture, right? Yeah, are we going to figure out what the reason is this time? Or. So you're just skip, uh, skipping through, I mean, through this text I've already seen. That'd be, that'd be more weird shit that's gonna happen. Hmm. 
Yes, we. Uh, yes, the dust particles are still there. stops again. You starts to bleed really heavily. I... I can't. John. So the Yuri force me grabs my arm and drags me to my feet. Teacup gets knocked over. John. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, John. I can't calm down. Wow, it got really dark all of a sudden. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, John? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, oh good, she has creepy human eyes. <sighs> stop looking! Stop looking at me! Stop looking at my dick! It's not that. It's not that large. Wait, I just realized I insulted myself. Um, it's time to share poems. Poems are gonna get, gonna get really illy bizarre. I'm gonna show them to you, to Yuri first, cause why not? They're waiting for this. See what you've written for today. It's a poem surprise question. Do you like it? John, this one might be even better than yesterday's. It just leaves follows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh -huh. She's so happy. It's amazing I feel, to feel like I'm valued, John. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. I heard Pounce just holding it. Haha. <laughs> right around my poem about this feeling. Is that bad, John? Not being weird, right? I'm having a hard time than usual concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. Right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning, turning an axle. Grinding. Binding belt. Leaning in your gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A I grew up with a tar, uh, tar some, uh, something harness, panabolic gearbox, expanding universe, tuned control by slipping cogwheels, existence of God swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time, time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human, human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, ex exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stain, floating stars, God disproving the existence of God, a real rotating six dimensions, 40 gears, and a ticking clock. I have a clock that takes for one, takes one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every is it, I mean, every time it ticks every second time. Every time I'm a bolt of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer. Connect a sky of forty gears and open human eyes in all directions. Actions breathing gearbox breathing bolt head breathing ship breathing portal breathing snakes breathing god breathing bullet breathing. You can go breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing tomb, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Everything's breathe. So yeah, she's clearly very insane. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what it's about. My eyes are a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Ah, that is a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I am um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. Why? But I just. You pretend this conversation never happened. You keep the you can keep the poem though. Let's see what Natsu Natsuki says anything, or she's just forgotten everything again. I mean, worse than the last one, but I can't say it's better either. Anything is a dream. I'll take it as a win. It was a compliment. one insane as well. Nope, it's the exact it's the exact same spider uh, uh, Amy like spider's poem. Ah, <laughs> uh, bless bless me. All right, give me a second.